Hello and welcome to the 30th season of Raider News, the longest running student newscast in the nation, and this is the Raider News Update. I'm Madison Lislow. And I'm Patrick Hankles. Raider News is broadcasted on Comcast Channel 34 and Verizon Files Channel 22. A link to Raider News is found on our district webpage at sbfk12.org. So before we start introducing our headlines, we would like to introduce our new podcast member, Stormy Steph. Hi guys. She'll be here for the rest of the year, folks, so Woo! get used to her. Yes, yes. she's good. All right. Moving on to our first headline, uh, NASA was able to send a satellite on a, on a moving comet, which I just thought was absolutely insane. I mean, uh, just imagine just how far we've come ever since you know the days of the space race against the Soviet Union, and how you know we, we were able to land the moon by the end of the '60s. We made the first space station, the Skylab. It's crazy. Yeah, it, it's absolutely it's absolutely crazy just how far our space program is coming. Now we're we're able to land uh, a satellite on a, a, a fast moving comet, which just seems impossible, right? Mm -hmm. But no, this is NASA. NASA has done some amazing things over the years. And so, uh, um, Steph, uh, what do what do you think about this? Well, I don't know. When I think of this, I think of the Sandra Bullock movie. <laughs> I just it, that just comes to mind because it's just so like amazing how far we've come, like as human beings. Yeah, I agree with you, Steph, on that one. Uh, I, I think out of all the um, best NASA moments, this has to be one of the best, but in, in terms of my favorite NASA moment, it would have to be, of course, when they landed Neil Armstrong on the moon, because my, my dad was watching it, the whole family was together on the TV watching it, when he made those historic you know, first steps on the moon. That's unbelievable. I, I, I know. Like, just imagine like, just being in his footsteps. It's just, yeah, so hard to picture, though. Yeah, right? I think like at right? one point we all wanted to be astronauts. Yeah, right? I, I, remember, I, remember, I remember wanting to be an astronaut when I was, uh, when I went to Disney World. That was uh, that was one of my best experiences going to the Kennedy Space Center. So anyway, yeah, space is awesome. Yes, all, right. <laughs> all right, moving on to the second headline, Matt. All right, so this podcast, so recently this podcast team called This American Life, they were talking about like a survey for future technologies. So they got all the results and after it, like the results came back, the new technology that everyone would like to see in the future is time travel. So, Pat, where would you want to travel back in time if you had to pick? Huh, that's really hard to say. Mm. Yeah. I'd probably travel back to 1978 in Offenbach, Germany, because one of my favorite bands, Weather Report, uh, played a concert there, and I watched it live. You, you, you know, you see me on the computers here, and I was watching that concert, and it was such a great show. Just watching it, I, I, I just really want, I really want to experience it live because, of course, you got Joe Zawinul on the keyboards doing amazing stuff, and way shorter with his you know, really smooth sax tones. Peter Erskine doing on the drums, and of course, the late great Czech Pistorius on on bass. And just you know, shuffling his feet, dancing around. Mm -hmm. uh, well, where, would you, where would you guys go? I think I had a time machine. Mm -hmm. Steph, where would you go? Right. Back to the dinosaur era, right? <laughs> dinosaur era. That's dinosaurs. pretty cool. Right? I like um, to do that. I think I'll go back to the 1920s. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah, it's like a new beginning. I think that's when like things really got off. Yeah, that was that was really. Um, that was really when like jazz got started. Yeah. Um, in the 20s and not, not really when jazz got started, but it was really like when you know America started just starting to really find itself an identity. Exactly. Like, yeah, that's why they called the Roaring Twenties because it was so full of energy. So much fun. Yeah. All the parties. All the parties. All the people parties. People rich, but people rich. still parties. Then, then of course at the end of the 20s, boom, stock market, stock market crashes, Great Depression. So I don't think it was there. Well, no. just for like the beginning. Yeah. yeah and yeah, then yeah. I'll leave. Oh, uh, what, what about you, Matt? I would probably go back to the dinosaur. Era. I think that's, I don't know, just to see, like, as a human being, to see dinosaurs walking around, I just think that would be cool. <laughs> uh, well, what was your favorite In the 1920s, dinosaur? I would say the 1920s, though. What was your favorite dinosaur? Um, I like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Really? Yeah. How, how original. <laughs> how original. <laughs> so original. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. 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 Anyway. Um. Yeah. If, if in my mind, if 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 we had a time machine, that would be so cool. It would just be awesome. You can go anywhere, like anywhere yeah. back in time, anywhere you want. Yeah. Yeah. Fix mistakes. I yeah. Know. If you regret something, that would be awesome. Okay. Well, that was really awesome to talk about. I, yeah. I, I like time machines. Okay. Um. Moving on to our uh, third headline, we have uh, senior superlatives here, and the senior superlatives uh, were. Put up on the around the school, and you know they got stuff like you know the best eyes, the most musical, uh, the most Raider pride, uh, last comic standing, and like most down to earth people. So I'm gonna just ask around the group and say like, what which superlative do you think uh, you deserve to have? Wow. I'll start with um, you. Ladies first. Me? Okay. Ladies first. Well, I think like 
don't know, was there like a most happy person there? Oh, just yeah, there's probably maybe. one. There was like three pages of it, so. Let's see. Mm. I'll look at that after you. How about most down to earth? Yeah, I'm gonna go for that one. What? Most down to earth. I don't know, I'm just like very down to earth. Yeah. All right, um, let's see. I would probably be, um, Yeah, I would say most contagious. Yeah, you're kind of, you're la you're la your laugh is pretty contagious. I do like to laugh a lot. Your laugh is pretty contagious. And people have said in the past that my laugh is very contagious. Nominate Matt for most contagious laugh. Like, yeah. I, I cannot relate to any of these except probably most musical, although, you know, yeah, I was uh, I, I, I'll, 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 <laughs> although I'm nowhere near Billy Wilkins. I, I saw him live last year about the bands playing, I think, some, some, some awesome tunes. and. I have to admit, like I was just in awe of his guitar playing. I mean, he was like jo John Petrucci, Joe Satriani, like and all like Michael Romeo, all mixed into one. Mm -hmm. Just, just all the. Like, I think he's really gonna go far with the instrument, and um, he's a he's a really nice guy. I've talked to him before. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to you know progressive music, and, and you know he's been giving me some tips in terms of you know looking at like Berkeley College and music and stuff like that. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Nice. Yeah. So so anyway, uh, yeah. Um, so that there, there's our senior superlatives, and now we're gonna move on. Move so on. No weather with Steph. With Steph. And here she is, right here. Right here. Don't have to walk up anymore. Nope. So Steph, how's the weather look for the weekend? All right. For sunny. No, not for sunny. <laughs> for Saturday, it's gonna be sunny with a high of 43 and a low of 30. And for Sunday, it's gonna be cloudy with a high of 48 and a low of 36. And Apparently, it's supposed to be snowing this weekend. Oh, so really? Everyone prepare for that. You know, snow boots. So, you know, supposedly, but. I'm not ready know. for the snow yet. Yeah, yeah me neither. It's kind of early. I'm, I don't like it. I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest. I love snow. Why? I, I'll tell you why. Because for, for some reason, there's always been like some sort of like mystical thing about snow that, that always draws me to it, you know? To me, snow is just one of those like, beautiful things to watch. It's almost it beautiful is. to experience. I agree with you on that. I, and I think at any age it is. I mean, sometimes I, I believe it or not, I like to show up my driveway, even though my driveway is huge. And the reason is because, you know, it gives me time to bond with my family because we're all working on it together. Mm -hmm. well, well, my dad's doing most of the work. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, and and you know, I just remember some of my fondest memories of my child of my earlier life were just you know just playing around in the snow and you know throwing snowballs with my brothers and making snowmen with my mom and uh, you, you know then then you know what's the best feeling after you know playing it for a whole day in the snow and then coming back inside having some having a nice warm bowl of soup and uh, curling up by hot the chocolate. Hot chocolate. yeah hot, hot chocolate. chocolate yeah hot chocolate. And curling up by the fire, you know, with your little book or your I or iPad or whatever, whatever kids have. <laughs> yeah, or, 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 or whatever kids, whatever kids have these days. No, kids these days. I like when there's too much of it. Yeah. Like, you know, I love it when there's too much of it. I don't like that. No, much. imagine how creative you can be. I remember well, last last year when we had that huge blizzard that literally like had us out of school for weeks. Yeah. And I mean, there was my, my um my brother's. My brothers and sisters and I, we all, we all made ourselves uh, little uh, like caves. Oh really? Yeah, it was so awesome. <laughs> I want to do that. Yeah. I'll try that. Out. So anyway, yeah. Uh, thank you, Steph, for the thank you, Steph. weather update. You're welcome. All right. So now moving on to announcements. <laughs> all right, seniors. The next college essay workshop is Wednesday, November nineteenth. Hey, it's the day after my birthday. Uh, please sign up on Avian's college visit page if you would like to help with your college essay. Medical Club. Are you interested in a career in medicine? Then come to the Medical Club uh, Medical Club meeting Monday, November 17th after school in Misty Nicole's room 128. Okay. Support our homeless veterans. The Interact Club with the Scotch Plains Family Rotary are sponsoring Operation Chill Out, a program supporting homeless veterans. Items will be collected in various classrooms. Look for the bags with the yellow Operation Chill Out signs. The room or office that collects the most items will win a breakfast. Thank you for helping us support our homeless veterans. Winter cheerleading. Anyone interested in tryout for winter cheerleading should attend a meeting next Thursday, November 20th at 2.45 in room 150. See Ms. Toto if you were interested in trying out or unable to attend. Okay. Alright, last, last announcement. Uh, the blood drive. 
Did you know that someone needs blood every two seconds? Help save a line of the blood drive on Wednesday, December 3rd in the old gym. If you are 16, 17, or 18, you can sign up to save a life. 16 year olds must get a parent guardian to sign a permission slip in order to donate. Please help save a life. Thank you. So now, move, so now moving on to our guest interview with our very own Pat Hangles and Logan Condon. Hey guys, how you doing? Going good, doing uh, pretty good. Good. So, I heard you guys had hockey tryouts this week. How did it go? Uh, it went pretty well. It went pretty well, yeah. We both made it up varsity. Oh, oh congratulations. Yeah. Team's yeah. looking pretty strong this year. Good. Alright, so what do you... So, hold on. What positions do you guys play? Center. Yeah, I usually play like center or I'm on the wing. Do you guys like mean? it? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, well, <laughs> well, well, when you're on the wing, it means that you basically, um, so like here's the center right here, and you got left wing right here and right wing right here, and back here the two defensemen, and you got the goalie. So that, those are the positions. Yeah, so you see on your zone of the ice most of the time. Mm -hmm. You guys like playing it? Yeah. Play those positions? Oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Come on. You guys. So, how did you guys feel on like the first day of tryouts? Well, uh, I, I think I thought it was just easy because I'm a try. I play club too, and they condition me pretty well there, so it's really not that hard. Um, what's you guys' biggest inspiration? Like, is there someone that you aspire to be? Um, in, in my a point of view, I guess um, I really enjoy Mario Lemieux because. Um, he had battle Hodgkin's disease, which is a form of cancer, in the early 90s, and he's, and he's one of like, the greatest goal scorers ever in the game of hockey, and um, he's still contributing to the game this to this day, and in my point of view, he's one of the best players of all time, if not the best. Uh, he just scored goals just at will, and he and at, at, and in my opinion, he's uh, will stand the test of time as one of the best players. What about you, Logan? Well, actually, I just play for myself. Just got this this guy right here got me into the game in seventh grade, <laughs> yeah. and I just he begged my mom for years. Just kind of got me playing, and I just started to love the game okay. every time I played. So I just kind of play and make myself better and try and compete at higher levels every time I go out there. Nice. Thank you guys for being on the show. Would hey, you guys like to sign the wall? Sure. sure. <laughs> here you go. This one. Yeah, it's more colors. This is down the chair. Shop for Trojan. I don't think I'll still be like that. No. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you, bye. So now, lastly, moving on to Patrick's music segment. Patrick? Okay, music segment. Well, um, recently I've been listening to a very good rock band named Weezer. Uh, they have been around since the 90s. Uh, they came out with a blue album um, in the mid-90s with songs such as like Buddy Holly, Say It Ain't So. Mm -hmm. And those are all, all, great, all great songs, in my opinion, but you know, Around the two thousands I kinda got got out of them because they went more in a poppy direction. But uh, they recently came out with a new album called I think Everything Will Be Alright in the End. And they are really returning back to their rock roots. And I listen I, and my mom likes to listen to Alt Nation mm -hmm. on you know XM radio and uh, the the new song Back to the Shack is literally about, you know, returning to the the rock and roll roots and getting out of the pop stuff, you know, like you know, like take me back, back to the shack, back with the uh, guitar with lightning strap. It's 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 really it's really awesome to see you know, the returning to the roots and returning to what you know the great music that they made back in the nineties. And I really uh, both, both albums I really check out. They're both really good. Uh, the, the blue album by far is one of like, the best albums in the nineties. It has a lot of you know great hits on it. And uh Rivers Cuomo, the lead man is a great guitar player and I really recommend it. Is there like a specific song that you like from the album? Uh, from the Blue album? I guess I would say, uh, oh my, um, Say It Ain't So because while well, it's one of like the first songs I ever heard from them and I was instantly hooked and I tried to learn on guitar. So yeah, it was, it's, it's an awesome song. And in terms from uh, Everything Will Be Alright in the End, that will be uh, Back to the Shack. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we got for the Radio News Update. We'll see you next time. See you around. Bye.